Well, right now, the family of a Florida man who was killed after being run over by a police car say that they're now seeking justice and are releasing the dash cam video in hopes criminal charges are filed. There's a lot more to the story, though. Patty Ann Brown is live in our New York City newsroom with more. Patty Ann? Well, Jenna, it is a horrifying story, all caught on video. It was four months ago in DeLand, Florida, about 25 miles west of Daytona. Three police cars began chasing Marlon Brown's seatbelt. At a dead end, Brown got out and started running, as you can see by this police dash cam video. At one point, Brown stumbled and fell, and one of the cop cars ran over the 38-year-old, killing him. We're not showing the most graphic part. Well, the officer who was driving, James Harris, was fired, and his case went before a grand jury, but those jurors decided not to indict him. Prosecutors still have the option of filing criminal charges, but they have not. And now, Brown's ex-wife, Crystal, also the mother of his kids has released this video to pressure prosecutors into charging officer Harris with a crime. She notes a vehicular manslaughter charge does not have to show intent. It only has to show reckless driving. Brown's family has already gotten a $550,000 settlement from the city of DeLand and Crystal says this is not about money. It's about justice. But the prosecutor, state attorney R.J. Larizza, says the grand jury was the most fair way to go because it, quote, got the most possible folks involved, people that live here, people that care about this community. Jenna? Continue to watch this story, Patty, and thank you. Thanks.